Hi, I'm Kimberly. I love geology, so let's talk about a rock, or more accurately, a mineral. This is uxolite, also known as the TV rock. A luxite was discovered by and named after George Ludwig Alux, which I totally pronounced wrong because it's German. This is its chemical formula, which is hydrated sodium calcium borate hydroxide, which is totally easy to say. A luxite has a hardness of 2.5, which means that if you drop it, it will crack. This I know from personal experience, and it's also soft enough to scratch with your fingernail. A luxite can also be dissolved in hot water, but I'm not going to show that because I like having my aluxite, and I don't want to dissolve it. I want to keep it. Aluxite was discovered around 1840, but it wasn't nicknamed TV Rock until 1956 by John Marmon, and it was nicknamed that because of the way it transfers light. Aluxite transfers light in a way that's very similar to fiber optic cables. Well, Kimberly, how does a fiber optic cable work? Well, I'm gonna show you. We use fiber optic cables to transfer information through light, such as the internet. We also use it to make really cool lamps. Let me just turn, turn it on. Oh. How cool is that? So you can see that the light starts at the base and it goes through the fibers and you can only see the pinpoints where it exits where each of the strands ends. This is a fiber optic and this is the coolest form it comes in. These things, oh they're so cool. Fiber optics work through internal reflection. So when light enters one end, it bounces across the sides of the fiber until it exits from the other end. The light can't escape from either of the sides, so it can go only go in and out the top and the bottom. You can see that happening with the lamp. The light's entering through the bottom, and if I bunch all these up, you can see a little bit of light, but not that much. It's nothing compared to what's at the end. All the light is going in through the bottom and coming out the top. That's why you can't see much of it when it's all gathered up. Uxolite also transfers light, but it also transfers images. This is the nutrition fact label of a Cheez-Its, because that's what I have. But if you put the Uxolite over it, you can see the words on top of the Uxolite. It's just an optical illusion. If you turn to the side, you can see it's almost all opaque, but you can see it from the top, and it's not clear. If you look at this black line, if it were clear, the black line would be staying in the same place on the cardboard and on the oxalite, but it's not. It's moving relatively. That's because it's not, we're not looking through the oxalate. We're actually seeing the image on top of it. I forgot to mention this the other day when I was originally filming, but there was a certain reason that I did have to use this to demonstrate the aluxite. Aluxite only has a hardness of 2.5, which means it's really soft, soft enough to be scratched with a fingernail, and also soft enough to be scratched with certain types of paper. So the outside of this user box is printed, so it's glossy, but the back side is rough. So the printed side is um, smooth enough that the aluxite wouldn't be damaged, but if I used the back, it would have micro scratches all over it. Luxolite is one of my favorite minerals because it's so cool, but I'm a geology major, so I have a lot of favorite minerals because there's a lot of really cool minerals out there. There's a lot of really cool just stuff out on planet Earth, so go and explore.